All right, guys. Good morning. We got about two, three inches of snow last night. Uh, if you guys recall that snare set we made yesterday, we got a mink in it. It's pretty tangled up, right by the neck. Don't look too bad. Set you down here. Hopefully you guys can see. Oh, it's pretty stuck to it. It's about nine degrees. That guys, awesome! Right by the neck, so we'll get him out of here and get it remade. Like I said, it's just these walls, you know, they follow the walls. Um, you know, they look for crayfish, frogs, all kinds of stuff like that. Pretty typical. I caught quite a few here last year. That snare's ruined, but that's all right. They're cheap. Yeah, not a bad mink. It's a male, so pretty happy with that. Good coloration. And I caught him right right here. Right through this little walkway. Just coming along there. They'll follow this wall down. And I'll show you how I set this up. It got too windy, so I'm gonna use audio and I built this little cubby, so here we go. Now you can see that's a piece of 11 gauge wire hanging off the rebar. That's where I'm gonna slide my support collar to the snare on to hang the snare over that hole. Now, I usually fasten my snare either to that rebar or to something secure like a big rock or another stake. Um, that's running concurrent to the rock itself. As far as the snares that I'm using, there's seven by seven small animal squirrel mink snares. Um, they're three and 64th aircraft cable. And I use one and one sixteenth micro locks. I love the micro locks. And it has an 11 gauge swivel that I attach the snare and cable to. Um, I like that just because um, they do a lot of turning and twisting as them being mink. They cause a lot of damage to your snare overall. And what I'm going to be doing here is just simply hanging the snare uh, right directly over this line of path right here. They love to follow the wall structures and they love to investigate every nook and cranny. And right there at that corner is that pivot point where he's going to come down from that law, that corner, whether it be from the edge of the bridge or coming up from the bridge. And uh, that's where I like to make a lot of my sets. And that's where I'm usually the most productive at when I make these, uh, these walkthrough cubby sets for mink. Things of that nature. Right here, if you see, I use nine inch support collar or to support the collar, two to three inch loop. Boom, just like that. I hope you guys can see that. I hope that's in frame. So I use the 911 gauge, uh, you know, wire. I slipped a whammy on it 
and you can back the lock off a little bit but I mean essentially on these smaller small game snares it doesn't really matter they they fire extremely fast so as soon as he touches it or pulls on it it goes tight around his neck so thanks guys I hope this video helped out a lot uh, please remember to like and subscribe thanks for stopping in and I'll see you next time